I want to thank all of you that are supporting this channel. It means so much to me. And I'm trying to think of some way I could show my appreciation. Me and my kid are working on that. Thank you. On July 27th, 1858, here in Clinton, Illinois, Mr. Not Yet President Lincoln said, you can fool all of the people part of the time, and you could fool part of the people all the time, but you can't fool all the people all the time. Today, we're going to the Apple Pork Festival, and it's gonna be a great adventure. Let's kick it. You're my girl. Sometimes porta potties don't have toilet paper. But that's okay. I'm not getting married today. Oh, well, to be honest, uh, I was the first one in there. That thing was fresh as a daisy. Now, whoever goes behind me, they're, that's, they're up the creek. Behind Honest Abe is a pavilion. Where that pavilion stands is where the courthouse once stood. Or Abraham Lincoln would travel through representing clients throughout the state of Illinois. As I do a 180 degree turn from the Lincoln statue, I am facing the hotel that Lincoln stayed at the first few times he came to town. And that door leads to the hallway. The side of the door that I'm staying on is called the mother-in-law suite. <laughs> Historically, that's not true. As I left Clinton Square, I headed on down to what was called a flea market, but could only be described as a museum where everything's for sale. And that may or may not be the next video. That might be the childhood home of John Denver Mellencamp. Up yours, Buster! I'm not a piece of meat! You pack your five dollar. Come on, sailor boy, you pack your five dollar. I bet those have toilet paper in them. These are polarized. I can see the screen now. And there's a lot of... I'm looking for the tomahawk demonstration, to be honest with you. And Lincoln, he's around here somewhere. Holy cow! The festival is one year older than me. Pork and beans! I'm going crazy on those because I'm driving home alone. This is the home that Brett S.'s great-grandfather or great-great-grandfather rented for $100 a month. It's a mansion, and Abraham Lincoln slept there. A lot of people don't know the reason there's big wheels in the back and small wheels in the front is because the larger the diameter of the wheel, the easier to pull. And the small wheel in front is so it can make a tighter turn. Right there, by the Farm Mall H. That is beautiful.
John Deere walking plow. It says that this is the plow that made John Deere famous. No engine. Hmm. Wait a minute, that's not an invention. That's a giant fishing hook. But they were happy when seats showed up. <laughs> no seat? Seat. <laughs> oh, this is how the Flintstones. One thing they're really good at here in Clinton Apple Pork Festival is potties. They got potties everywhere. So that belt driven engine is anchored to the ground so they could pull that long belt tight to turn the grinder inside the building. Beautiful bags of cornmeal. Wow, I like this. I like this. So evidently there's some buses around here we can catch that's going to take us all over town to a bunch of different events happening everywhere. I'm going to see if we can track down. It's $2 for the whole day. Let's hop a bus. Uh, the band started playing at 9 a.m. sharp and they're still rocking. Right now I'm heading down neighborhood streets where there seems to be tents set up literally in people's yards. This lady is pregnant with like four kids. You can't tell by the picture. Trust me, she should not be at this festival. Lucky for her, there's an ambulance about 300 feet behind her. took me down what I thought was an alley, but it is not. And I believe that house is giving tattoos, but I'm not sure it's legal. But, but you can get a tattoo there. I'm in St. John's Parish right now, and I'm about to have, I knew it was a movie. I didn't know it was food. Well, I did. Apple dumpling. We're gonna get something made of pork. Apples down, pork to go. If that was a satanic church, the bells would be a bad sign. But it's not. Okay, that kid's going crazy. All right, the kid on the slow bus got a hold of the bell. 
Somebody's getting grounded. I never heard a church bell ring like that before. Now every time I hear somebody say sir, I think they're talking to me. It's just about noon right now. The place is getting packed, the party is starting. We're gonna head back to the main park and uh, see if we can not find some pork. Apples down, pork to go. That's where I parked way down there. Way down there. No shortage of bathrooms. Oh, no. Let's go see if we can find some pork. Something with pork in it. Maybe them beans from earlier. Ma'am, can I get the ham and beans and yeah. cornbread and ice cream? Yeah, yeah. Thank six dollars. Thank you. Hey, yeah. cornbread? Please. Thank you very much. Fifty-one percent of you are saying that's not going to do him any favors. Mm. This festival started back in 1967 with a woman, and she was selling uh, soup and bread to raise money. Now we have an event that's taking place throughout the entire town. And it seems like the people, I mean, there are, there's an easy seven to 10,000 people here. I think we're gonna go for one more pork, pork product today at least. I just noticed there's no beer sales here. That's pretty cool. I was wondering why there's no drunk ladies with sour milk breath. Ma'am, how much does the pony weigh? The unicorn weigh? She's probably 250, 300. Oh, you give me five bucks, I'll let her ride me. <laughs> okay, I weigh more than a pony. That's not good, probably. All right, let's see if I can do this without getting it all over my Gibby shirt. That is excellent. I just found out 100,000 people visit this festival annually. Now they didn't have a chance to have it last year because of all the craziness, but they brought it back strong this year. The food was excellent. The people were friendly. Some of them not so much on the sense of humor, but that's okay, we'll catch on. Thanks you guys for joining me. Peace and love worldwide. Live your life before your life lives you. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you're new to the channel and you'd like to support us, 
you can check out our awesome, thought-provoking t-shirt shop. Or if you're new to the channel and you need another t-shirt like you need a frontal lobotomy, then feel free to donate to a future adventure through the link below to PayPal or Zelle. And on PayPal, sending your contribution, friends or family, takes three, four and a half, five, six percent or something. It's a lot out of PayPal's pocket and puts it in the gas tank. And you old timers, hold on to your money because we might need it for bail. Wink, wink. About three of you made it this far. Lucky you. This might be a quiz question. This will come up later. The hat that I wear in the episode is from the TV show Fall Guy. I bought the patch, attached it to the hat. As I did with the Dukes of Hazard, and most likely will with all the hats I wear in my episodes. And this is not the quiz or the contest. Just so I know who made it this far, reference in any way you want pork and beans.